um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so, I am going to sort of highlight dye my hair today. So, hopefully I don't... <sighs> so, anyway, so today I'm going to highlight my hair, or try to anyway. Usually this is successful to me. I've used box dyes before. Um, now I can't color my hair due to work. Um, for obvious reasons. <laughs> but, I mean, I can. But I, I prefer to stay my other, my, I, pres I prefer to stay one color. Um, but I can have highlights in it. <laughs> But, or, I want my hair to be a little bit lighter than it is. It's sort of like, I would say medium to dark brown. Um, it might, it's not my natural hair color. <laughs> my natural hair color when I was born is blonde. I was white, strawberry blonde hair when I was born. So that's my natural hair color. And over time, it faded from being a light blonde to a dark, to a dirty, dirty dishwasher blonde dirty blonde and now it's brown so I've dyed my hair in the past I've dyed it red I've dyed it blonde I went back to blonde before um but and I, I've had blue tips in my hair I know blue tips what was I thinking no, I'm kidding I love I, I wanted blue tips I just wanted blue hair <laughs> I just Blue highlights, maybe, but I don't know about fully blue hair. Anyway, I've had full red hair. I liked it, but it faded over time. So anyway, on the video, I am highlighting my hair. Um, this is the Garnier Nutris, Nutrice Ultra Color Blonde Balayage Lightening Cream with nourishing anti-brass conditioner um, and this is of course the highlighting kit one application um, so since I'm like between a medium brown and dark brown I would say more dark brown so this on the on the side of the package it tells you like if you're dark brown if you're dark blonde you should be getting lighter and so I'm dark brown ish so I should be going between these two shades between those two shades so and there's a brush inside for highlighting so let's open this so you get of course you get the instruction pack pamphlet um you get the the highlighting brush the Develop the 30 volume developer Ulta Cream A, and then this is the very last step the Ultra Anti Brass Conditioner, which I'll be taking a shot later. The next step from the cream, the can cream is the bleaching powder the ultra bleaching powder and the third step is ultra lighting lighten, lightening cream um, and then of course you got the cap for shaking it out. let's read the instructions so I will be reading the instructions off camera um, and then I'll be telling you uh, I'm not I'm just I'm not off cam. I'm gonna be like reading the camp. Yeah, let's dive in. Um, I might be this video might <laughs> be uh ah. Some of the words are fading when I just take it off. So, bam. Always read instructions before you color your hair with these box dyes. Because if you don't read the instructions, 
and you go wing it, it's going to turn out wrong. And I know I'm not... Ooh, it comes with gloves. I forgot it comes. It doesn't say on the box it comes with gloves, so just expect gloves. And if you don't have gloves, have your gloves on handy. So, it's going to be a long process, long reading, but um, thank you for choosing Garnier. I've, I've, I've tried you before. Um, be sure to contact, conduct your skin allergy test. So, if you're allergic to the, if you're allergic to conditioner, be sure to test on your arm. Um, I had tested this before and it does not, I don't have aller allergies to it. Always begin with dry, detangled, unwashed hair, which I have. Put on an old shirt, which is my daycare shirt, which I don't mind getting dirty because um, girl, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash it anyway. <laughs> um, lightning makes your canvas color close. Uh, short on space. Take these instructions to your mirror to follow along as you lighten. Tear off the inner carton flap to remember what to buy. It's every four weeks, make sure you never apply bleach over previously bleached hair. Number one, I don't do that. <laughs> um... Of course, um, there's safety warnings, um, never keep out of reach of children, do not use on children, well that's an obvious. Um, wear gloves, always prepare and use this product according to the directions, so always, always, always read the instructions, that's always important. Um, do not use on your eyebrows and eyelashes for obvious reasons. Um, do not get mixture in your eyes. To, uh, to do so may cause blindness. If mixture does get into your eyes, rinse out immediately with lukewarm water. If it persists, call medical attention. Um, if you need to wear contact lenses during application, remove lenses first, then wash immediately with lukewarm water if you get in your eye. Avoid contact with skin. Uh, do not apply powder directly to scalp. So, basically, what I've seen on videos is don't apply it directly to the scalp. Uh, I watch a lot of Guy Tang, and, uh, I watched a lot of Guy Tang a lot. What he does is probably, a lot of, uh, professionals are different. They like to do their techniques different. Um, what Guy Tang does is he, he uses like an inch or two off the scalp. And of course he layers like he he takes, he goes in sections. First he goes in a square section and then, but he sections off all the hair. And then he does it. Um, do not use on facial hair or body hair. Ex examine your scalp. If there's cuts or scratches, um, do not shampoo your hair for two days prior to lightning. To do so, over could have ex okay. So I'm not gonna be shampooing <laughs> for the next two days, which is tonight and tomorrow. I don't know. Do not brush hair hard before using. Brush lightly only to remove hair spray residue, which I don't really have hair spray residue. I've had it like what weeks ago. Wait at least two weeks before using this pro pr product on a new perm. Well, girl, I don't eat perm. I don't get perm. So basically, it just rent. I'm not going to tell you all the safety warnings, but it, it tells you a lot of safety warnings and a lot of safety warnings. Um. Of course, I'll tell you to perform a skin allergy test, which I don't really need to uh, because I've already tried it before, but I'm going to anyway. Um, but I'm still going to apply it to my hair. My hair. Um,
one mix prep. Okay, so I'm gonna do this while I'm just, ah, it's falling. So come on. Okay, one mix prep and mix. Put on gloves. I love these gloves because they're just my kind of gloves, and they fit. So I'm doing this in my bedroom. It may get messy. Who I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You know, we like to get messy sometimes, you know. I'm kidding. Put on gloves, keep them on during entire application. Twist off tip of number A. Remove cap from bottle. Okay, so we twist off the tip. Once you guys, once you twist off the top, it goes. I like that noise. I was, I was. This was an ASM, ASM, ASMR video. Um, if you guys want me to do an ASMR, ASMR video, <laughs> please let me know down in the comments because I really love to do an ASMR. Cause I am all about ASMR. It's just to me, it's just relaxing but also annoying at the same time so anyway we twist it off then remove cap from bottle so we are moving cap no oh. don't get that in your nose <laughs> it's it just it smells like conditioner I don't know it just smells like conditioner um shake bleach powder um So using scissors carefully, um, I don't have scissors with me. I do not have scissors with me. No, I do not have scissors with me. So I will be right back with the scissors. Okay, so <laughs> I'm back. And I got my scissors, and so I am going to, and I stabbed myself with them. Don't do that. So we're going to be cutting along the dotted line. Ugh, it smells like bleach. <laughs> It's called bleaching powder for a reason, Sam. So. So, we're taking the bottle here. And we're going to... Pour it in. Okay. Oh god. I got some of it. I'm trying to... Get it all in the bottle. And I'm getting it on my table. Okay, so that's in. Oh, they're gonna be extra. 
Oh, well, my pants has it on. So. Okay, where's the instructions? Uh, shake bleacher powder to loosen contents. Using scissors, carefully open, pour into screw flat cap onto the developer, point away from your face, and shake well. Remove and set aside and set aside flat cap. Says, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Sorry. <laughs> I like to be funny. <laughs> okay. So, remove cap. Piercing tube opening. Using pointed dip of its cap. Squeeze content. Oh. Okay. Okay, so. Screw that off. Uh huh. It smells like Lamonia. Okay, so. Already. So, screw flat cap. Hold on. Uh, remove and set aside flat cap. I almost spilled it. Um, remove cap. Okay. Screw flat cap onto. Remove what remove cap of lightning cream, which is number C. Piercing tube opening using pointed tip of its cap. Uh squeeze contents into A. Okay. So we gotta unscrew this. This is gonna be a long ass video. Okay, so I got my scissors again. Gonna pierce this, and then it says to remove, to squeeze contents into the belt to number A. So, so I'm squeezing. This is going to take forever. I don't like these tubes. Uh. I'm squeezing as hard as I can. Okay. I, I, that's the, the hardest. I hate these tubes. I really hate these tubes. Okay. So. Got that. And it stinks. Uh, place flat cap, point bottle and shake well. Okay. So we're doing that again. <laughs> okay, point face away. Point, oh, point the bottle away from your face, not your point your face away. Sometimes it's hard to shake, so you have to like pound, pound like, yeah, pound it. <laughs> okay, so immediately remove flat cap. Um, once pre-bleached mixture is creamy, 
this card flat cap and replace with pointed applicator tip. Okay. So always shake developer bottle with the flat cap on for optimal mixing. Never leave flat cap on after mixing is complete. The container must be made best. Never leave the tip unopened after mixing. The container made best. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, so, um, apply after, always apply on, oh god, unwashed hair, play on old t-shirt, clip dried detangled hair into two sections, okay. Um, so, make sure to do a part here. My part is crazy. I have a crazy part of my hair. Okay, it's in two sections. Um, squeeze onto the br brush, blush, I want to say blush. Thoroughly subsaturate ends, reload brush as needed. Once ends are saturated, unclip your hair, leaving it sectioned. Immediately begin applying at mid length. Okay, so. Um, so we need to get my phone first, hold on. <laughs> the reason why I need to get, we need to, I need to get my phone is because we need, a, we need a timer. So, I'm going to, before I apply it, I'm going to clock timer. So it says, be, be, begin timer after you finish applying, leave mixture on 30, so I'm going to say either 30 to 45 minutes. So I'm going to do I'm going to Oh, hello. Nope. I was going to do 40 minutes. That's how that's that's in the between that's in between. Um uh after wipe away a small strand to check your results according to the timer. If you want to go liar, we apply and leave for five more minutes. So we can go liar on the bleach. So I'm going to remove my glasses. Just because I don't want to bleach my glasses. So I'm going to... Um, total timing to not exceed 40 minutes. So I'm going 40 minutes. So if you it says if you want to reapply, you leave for four, five more minutes. So that would be 45 minutes. So... We're good. So, yeah. So, I'm going to, um, put this in my brush. If it's going to come out. It, I don't think it's going to come out. Oh, maybe it is. So I'm going to put it around my whole, my whole brush. Oh god. See, I'm not, I'm not doing part, I'm not doing my scalp.
Okay, so... I'm not getting close to my... I'm, I'm making sure not to get close to my scalp. Okay, so I'm going to reapply... My God, I'm getting hair. I'm going to make sure to get my I'm making sure to actually get my down here region so it's all it's mixture even so I'm going to go ahead and continue to do this off camera and then I'll be right back um, I'm going to be right back shortly Hey guys, so I'm back. I am finally done with combing, brushing in my hair. Um, I have a little bit left over, so I can re-lighten it later. Um, so I am going to go ahead and set my alarm for timer for 40 minutes. See, I have it, timer going. So I will see you after... 39 minutes. So, I'll see you again. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back. So, what I did was I. You see, I. Uh, <laughs> I highlighted my hair. I waited 40 minutes. Bypass. I, I just want to bypass the whole process. <laughs> Because it's it it'll take this video will take forever, so um, yeah. So I waited 40 minutes, washed it off. I had to take a shower anyway, so I washed it off in warm water, and then got out and dried my hair. And to me, it wasn't. I wanted it to get lighter. Um, it it was light. It was light. As you can see, it was light up, uh, and I didn't do it very evenly, so I went back. The instructions said I can reapply it if I wanted to, so I went in and I reapplied it. The whole the products to my hair, I reapplied it, waited five and additional more minutes, and I didn't dry my back 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 of my hair, but <laughs> it got lighter as you can tell as um it, it got a little bit lighter as you can tell I like it <laughs> as in I, I like I want it to be a little bit lighter um you can tell there's like some it's like brown up here but then you can move it and it's like brown like blonde ish so it's like you can like dirty blonde sort of so that's my hair um so i'm gonna go off to bed now <laughs> so if you guys enjoy this video give it a thumbs up <laughs> hopefully i don't end up on a um brad mondo video uh hopefully i do um because i really uh want his reaction to i know he doesn't really he's not a fan of box dyes but, um, because it doesn't, some box dyes don't really come out really good, um, but it's a highlight, so, it's, it's like, yeah, I, at first, I don't really do it evenly, as you can see, this side is not that even, well, the camera's not doing it justice, but, the important thing is it's light, and I just wanted a 
to have lighter hair for spring break. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, if you guys like this, thumbs up like I just, like I said. Um, hopefully there will be more videos in the future. So I will see you guys later. Bye.